Hi, welcome again. Today I'm talking about how to create custom grass mask in Unreal Engine. So basically it's the same uh, old landscape grass type in Unreal Engine, but here I'm using a interesting way which is barely documented how to create a custom grass mask. Uh, let me show you first. Here on the bottom I have uh, some grass uh, placed over. So you can easily see it's not a paint layer. So basically grass is available on uh, here as well. It's definitely not a paint layer. Then I let's go to the top a little bit and you can see uh, like a banana plantation over here okay and then if you go a little bit higher you can see a coconut uh, yeah coconut uh, plantation i guess so so here uh, everything is created using a grass mask in unreal engine it's a paint layer for sure but uh, it's a very interesting way to use paint layers uh, let me show you uh, how it looks like from the uh, top uh, let me go to the landscape mode and I'm gonna do some layer debugging to show you how, to, how it works. Visualizers, and we have a layer debug. Then I can select layers that I'm interested in. I'm interested in the grass mask one, grass mask two, and grass mask three. So basically you can see uh, here, I created some mask. Uh, so these are paint layers, but they are not actually doing any painting, but they are driving grasses. So since this is a paint layer, you can use any tool that you can manipulate uh, paint layers in Unreal Engine. You can manually paint if you want. Also you can use any other tool like here I'm using Terrain Magic to drive this through a lot of noises and a lot of uh, mask and so on. But you can use any other available tool that you can uh, drive paint layers. Now you know what grass mask can do and let me show you how to create this grass mask. Here I'm using a landscape created with Terrain Magic uh, noises but you don't have to use it for creating this landscape. It's completely optional. You can bring your existing landscape height map or anything uh, you created. It's just fine. Also, you need to have a simple uh, landscape auto material. Here I have used uh, the open land and our open lands auto dust version. But again, it's not required to use open land at all. So you can bring your own landscape material. And I'll, I'll go through the landscape materials so you can get understanding of what uh, how it does. If you want to use Terran Magic or open land, check the description below. And uh, we have links on how you can get this even for free. Here you can see my edit layout is a little bit different. I have little room to the viewport and also I have more room for the outliner and also the details panel over here. And the reason is I need to see more of my details panel. That's why I create like this, but it's totally optional. You don't have to do this. Right, uh, here let me select my landscape and let's scroll to the landscape material. It's a material instant. Let me scroll to the bottom and now we have the our master material. All right. And here we use the open lands auto loss version. Basically, it's not auto material. Uh, it's just simple layer bend material, but you can use auto material. There's no issue with it. So let me show you how the landscape uh, material is created. We have the layer blend over here, right? And then we have the grass uh, system over here. So this grass type file. So we are interested in uh, basically this layer blend and the grass type file. So it doesn't matter how your other landscape are created, but, but you need to worry about this this layer blend and the grass type file if you can locate these two and we are good to go right the first thing is your first layer the layer base in this case should be a normal weight blended layer as you can see over here now we're going to create the alpha layer as a second layer here we have the remove grass and it's an alpha layer but uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that i'm not going to remove that so i'm going to create a new layer blend over here i'm going to click this icon so here i'm going to type a name as let's say grass mask one and then I'm going to select the layer blend as the alpha blend. So you need to use this alpha, alpha blend for sure. And then I'm going to drag it to the uh, third item. Uh, yeah, on the second index. So basically it should be followed by the first layer. It should be a weight blended layer. But in the second one, in this case, we have remove grass, which is also an alpha layer. And that's totally fine. So basically you need to put it uh, just below the remove grass. Uh, and I'll talk about the, the reason why in a moment. I'm gonna connect the uh, the base layer over here. If you have an auto layer over here, just connect it over. Now we have this and it's alpha, alpha blended layer, right? Now I'm gonna head over to my grass uh, type uh, section. I'm gonna select the grass file. I'm gonna click add. And you don't need to worry about the order over here. I'm gonna give it a name like, uh, it's totally optional. I'm gonna say grass mask one, right? Then I'm going to right click and search for landscape sampling. Okay, we have this landscape layer sample node. I'm going to type the uh, the name that we gave, uh, which is the uh, grass mask one. Um, let me copy this just to make sure everything works. Right, 
then I'm going to connect it to this slot. Okay, so basically what we are doing is pretty simple. We are sampling the, the landscape layer, the grass mask one, and we're going to say, okay, put some grass on that layer. That's all. And here I need to create a grass type file. I can select this grass type and I'm going to say landscape grass type. I'm going to give it a location to save that file. Uh, I'm going to give it a name like, okay, uh, grass mask one, grass type. Okay, so I'm going to create that file. Cool. I'm going to save this uh, and we are good to go. All right, uh, let me show you how this works first. And after that, I'm going to explain why it's working in this way. Uh, okay, let's go over here. And the first thing you have to do after changing your master material is to restart your level. It's not restarting your engine, but you need to restart your map uh, where it is located. In this case, my one is auto -less. I'm going to restart my level with, uh, with saving everything. Okay, we have this. And I'm going to go to my landscape tools. And there are some shaders compiling. Let's wait until that. Right, now I'm going to select my grass mask one paint layer that we created. I'm going to assign a new OLA info file. I'm going to click this plus icon and make sure to create non weight blended layer the reason why we are doing it we are creating an alpha layer okay and give it a place you like okay i'm fine with the location i'm gonna click save now we have the paint layer assigned i can paint somewhere on my screen let's go to a place like this so basically i can paint it like this and it it, it won't give you any hint uh, whether this is painted or not uh that's the that's the way how we have assigned that material okay uh, so I can view that by going to the lit uh, visualizers and layer debug mode. I can assign a color to this. Yeah, it's a red over here. You can see I have now you can see now it's it's painting. So this is the way I can debug how it works because I cannot see it. <laughs> right. I'm going to go to the lit mode. I think I go to visualizers normal mode. Okay. Now we I know this is a place that we painted uh, this mask and I'm going to do a control one. And, and, uh, and I'm going to save the location. So this is the place where I say we, we paint it. Right, then uh, I'm going to go to my grass type file. So we created earlier, it's available here, location over here, but in your, in your case, it could be a completely different place. All right, here I'm going to create a new grass variant. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to select any, any grass that I have. I have some uh, grass file over here. 200 and let's give it a range like 40,000 to 30,000 just to make sure we can see that I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna scroll over here now as you can see we painted some grass over here cool 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 and so I can uh, go to the my landscape mode again I can get the paint brush I can paint it like here so basically now you can see we are painting grass so so this is basically now we have a mask custom mask that we can paint just grass after that everything is the same you can use any tool you have to drive this paint layer and then you have grass type file you can include any sort of grass you have grass or static meshes foliage you have right now i'm gonna reduce this to let's say 100 just to make sure uh, it works without uh, using my fans Okay, uh, otherwise it will be a little bit noisier, so it will affect the recording. Right, now uh, I'm going to show you how to create this custom grass mask using Terrain Magic. This is everything is done, you don't have to watch this if you just want to know how to create grass mask. Here I'm going to just show you how to drive this paint layer uh, procedurally in Terrain Magic. Right, I'm going to close this for a moment. Then I'm, I'm going to make sure that I added the Terrain Magic plugin, go to plugins and Terrain Magic and make sure it's installed your project. Okay. Right, then after that, I'm going to go to the place actors. I'm going to type clip. So if you have created your landscape using terrain magic and you don't need to get this weight map landscape clip brush, but yes, so then uh, if you use a noise or any other way, you can use the uh, paint layer section over there. But here, uh, this is a different landscape, I assume. Uh, I'm going to use the weight map landscape clip. And then I'm going to go to the uh, outliner, select that. And here we have a button called match landscape size. So basically, I'm going to assign it to my whole landscape so then you will see an outline like this right which is cool right then uh, I need to go to my layer painting section I'm gonna create a new layer paint okay and here I can give you any name you like uh, as a paint layer that I have so uh, I'm gonna go to my landscape mode again here uh, so it's a grass mask and make sure and make sure there's a layer for file assign and again I need another layer which is I can use to debug this grass mask 
because there is no paint involved with we cannot see how it looks and in this case i'm going to use this custom one that i created it's a red material so i can easily see what's going on there so that's the only difference right now i'm going to select my weight map landscape clip and i'm going to assign a new paint layer settings uh, here on the layer painting section i'm going to click plus icon and it will add a new layer painting and sometimes it might resize your landscape clip in that case simply click this match landscape size and it will expand to the correct position here is grass mask one and then we need to give additional paint layer which is i'm going to remove later on it should be custom one then i'm going to hit invalidate and it will uh, change the settings and so it will looks like this here it won't do anything here uh, i'm going to select the paint mode as use mask okay and here we have a normal mask i'm gonna simply assign it enable it and i'm gonna set invalidate and it will select area like this okay like this and and then uh, now we have a mask over here i can scoot over here now you can see uh, we have grass okay that's cool so we can do some modification after that let's say i need to have grass only on this uh, bottom like whole areas uh, we can easily do that uh, we have something called uh, height mask so i'm going to enable that i'm going to put a value like let's say minus 32,000 at the bottom or maybe something like minus 50,000 okay and the range end uh, let's give this value and try to invalidate yeah, it select this area but also the top area let's give it like uh, minus 5,000 all right and now we select only the bottom area again it's change the size i think it's a bug i'm going to fix it uh, right away I'm going to select a match landscape and now you can see we have a grass mask custom grass mask we created and just only on these two places now if i go over there we cannot see any grass but if i go over this place we can see lots of lots of grass and if you over over here you can see some grass here and there that's because this mask is coming over here as well and i'm, I'm gonna fix that i'm gonna go to my uh, normal mask settings i'm gonna increase the contrast a little bit and also I'm gonna reduce the range end to like let's say minus 10,000 minus 15,000 just to make sure right now we don't see any sort of grass over here so basically you can uh, customize it as you wish right now uh, now is the time I'm gonna remove the uh, the red uh, the still debug layer that we put basically it's a additional paint layer I'm gonna delete that and it again now we have grass over here right now i can play my game now i have grass only on this area so i can move over here there is no grass appeared over here just like that you can create as many as the uh, paint layer settings over here and then try to create uh, interesting uh, variations in your uh, landscape grass mask that we just created all right uh, and if you are using uh, any terrain magic landscape clips uh, like noise landscape clip it also have a layer painting section you can simply use that instead of this global weight map landscape clip all right uh that's it for today i hope this will be uh, educational now you know how to create custom grass mask in unreal engine and enjoy uh see you soon with something interesting bye